Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Mabilis ang aming lutuin and it's very healthy. Pwedeng pwedeng pang diet. Ruin it by dipping the fish on the egg. Ako ipapour ko na lang siya ha? Welcome back to my channel. It is another cooking vlog for all of you. And this time, what I'm going to be sharing with all of you is a seafood recipe na mabilis ang aming lutuin and it's very healthy. Pwedeng pwedeng pang diet. And I will make it quick and already share with you today's recipe. Today's dish is my simple and healthy dory recipe. The ingredients are dory fish, Okay, so we never run out of this because Erich eats this fried um, for her fish fillet. So we always have this, but this is the healthier alternative to deep fried dory. So we have dory. You buy that in the restaurants. It's in the frozen section. And then, of course, we have flour because I'm going to put some flour later. Two beaten eggs, capers, olives. That's optional you don't have to use it if your kids don't want to eat that garlic a little bit of butter salt and pepper and of course for this recipe because this is going to be a healthy dish i'm using donna elena extra virgin oil do you know that extra virgin oil is the purest of all olive oils so i'm going to be using this today because it's full of antioxidants so if we're going to go healthy let's go all the way all right let's begin Super little ingredients, and our first step is, of course, to season it with salt and pepper. That's the easiest part. And pepper. And tansha tansha again. So easy. This is so light. If you are on a diet, you can you can eat this at night. I got this recipe from my sister-in-law. There. Okay, so Miss Pepper is back again. And then, of course, you just flip it. You just have to be careful with dory because it's very easy to masira. So I have to really carefully pan fry it. Yeah. And the olives kasi, and the capers just give you that little acid if you want it to feel more flavorful. Okay? So we're done with it. That's it. Season it with salt and pepper. Now, because it's long, <laughs> And this is just my technique, and I don't want to ruin it by dipping the fish on the egg. Ako ipo pour ko na lang siya, ha? Instead of dipping it, I'm going to pour the two beaten eggs, yan, over the dory fish. We're doing that because we're going to drench it in flour. Just a little bit of flour. You know why? Because, sabi nga ng sister in ko na si Connie, para hindi madaling masira when she fries it, when she pan fries it, she puts flour. Para somehow, it seals the dory. So we are going to drench it in flour. Just light lang. We don't want it like super thick. Okay, so, so super easy ah. Salt, pepper, and then dip it in the beaten egg. And then we'll drench. Right. So easy. Okay, I'm gonna give you one fun fact. Do you know that the Dawn and an extra virgin oil is a healthy alternative to butter? Para dun sa mga recipes niyo na kailangan ng butter and you don't have butter or you want to be healthier, you can use this as a substitute. So, Dawn and an extra virgin oil as butter. So I know I have butter here. I'm gonna use it first. I'm going to use this as the healthier of the day. And of course, this Doña Elena extra virgin oil, the pure Malinda Pumas, you can buy this at all the supermarkets nationwide and of course at Lazada and that shop. Then I'm going to put my garlic. Okay, I want the flavor of the garlic to be infused in the olive oil. But I think it's best if I set it aside now. Now that I have its flavor, I'm gonna put it back later because I open up smooth na garlic. So there, I'll take out most of the garlic. And then I'm going to put a little bit more 
of the olive oil instead of the butter. And I'm going to put dory fish. Okay, so we're just gonna pan fry it for a bit. It's very easy to cook. Kasi filet siya eh, at hindi naman siya ganun ka kapal. Okay? Now for your kids who don't want to put capers and olives, pwede mo na siyang serve like this, or you may put um, breadcrumbs on it para maging parang fish filet siya. Except when you do that, gagamitin mo na yung comas olive oil for deep frying. Yon, pag breaded na yung pinili mo, yes. Mabilis lang ito. Maluto. Okay. On the side. While it's almost cooked, I'm gonna put back the garlic that I cooked a while ago. And I set aside. I'm gonna put some capers. I'm gonna cook it a little bit here. We can do it separately, pero para mabilis. Capers and the olives. Okay. Olives on extra virgin oil. Okay, ito kasi ibang be my toppings. Again, this is a healthy alternative to, this is good for diet, in other words. There we go. Okay, everything is healthy. Now, set it aside. We're gonna plate this now. So, there are so many ways to use our olive oil in all of our cooking. And this extra virgin oil is also best for salads and also more dips, diba? So we have to know what is the good olive oil to use at para saan natin siya gagamitin. There you go. And then, I will make it my toppings. There. Ooh. There you go. Ooh. Very nice. This is already a good dinner. Nice and light dinner. Now, this is your quick and healthy dinner. Of course, this is the good thing about all the extra virgin oil. When you have anything fried, all you have to do is when it's done, kahit Filipino food, kahit mga fried fish, pork chop, para talagang magkaroon siya ng extra flavor, you're just gonna drizzle it with a finishing touch na extra virgin oil. Super sada. Let's try it! So let's try our special and healthy dory fish. Mm -hmm. I like as a key person. Mm. Masarap. Very light. Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. So, thank you for joining me again. And see you again next week. Bye!